Hello everybody, I'm Christopher David Lawson of NEPA and today we're going to be changing out the fuel pump screen on the Indian Scout 60. This should be the same for all Indian Scout models. Let's go ahead and roll the video. You think you know me. Burn it down! Alright, today folks we're going to be doing a little maintenance on the Indian Scout 60 here. Mine's a 2018 like I said. I've got about 44,000 miles on it. We're going to be changing out the fuel pump screen, which should be done around 25,000 miles. Indian recommends that. I haven't had the time to do it until today, so we're going to be changing that out, which means removing the tank. And now it would also be a good idea when you do this, go ahead and change out your spark plugs and either change your filter or clean your filter depending on what kind of filter you're going to do. Now I'm not going to show you those because I have two other videos for that. Today we're going to be focusing on changing out the fuel pump screen. The first thing we got to do, of course, is remove the seat so we can go ahead and get to the bolts for the gas tank. And now we loosen the four bolts, holding the tank down with a half inch socket. Disconnect the two gas tank vent lines now. What I like to do now is to support the tank with a piece of 2 by 4 so I can disconnect the fuel pump, plug, and get to the lines easier. Next, we'll remove the thermostat cover so we can get to the fuel line. In this next step, we will disconnect the fuel pump harness. We will also disconnect the fuel line from the throttle body. I recommend placing a couple rags underneath to soak up a little bit of gas. Here I have a bucket with foam padding. When I remove the tank, I'm going to be draining it into this and it'll give a nice place not to ruin the paint. I also like to open up the cap so the gas can drain out easier. You will need to carefully pull back on the gas tank now from where it sits on the rubber mounts. Also, you will need to push the fuel line up through the frame. Be careful not to cut any other hoses or lines as you're pushing it out. Like I said folks, this is an easier job to do with less gas in there as possible. Basically at this point I'm going to let this tank drain into this bucket for now while I do the spark plugs and of course my air filter is really dirty so best thing I can do right now is just try not to get any mess on my paint. So you need a nice soft surface. Like I said my filter needs to be clean and I got to change my spark plug so. Now we're going to be removing the fuel line from the tank and also the mount. Alright to take this part off you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket. Hopefully you can find one and you haven't lost yours already. But basically you just take those four screws off and pop that off and get them out of the way. We will now remove the 10 8 millimeter screws that hold the pump into the tank. Alright what I did here basically once we got all the uh, 8 millimeter screws out of there um, you just take your time. You might have to pull it back a little bit, turn it. We'll see if I can get you a good view. We got the pump almost all the way out now and the screen is right here attached to it. Like I said, take a picture of stuff while you're doing it. And of course, take your time. I can't stress that enough, take your time, because a lot of shit's plastic. But, of course, the pump and everything might still have gas in it and stuff, so go ahead and set it down. That filter's pretty dirty, folks. 45,000 miles almost. Alright, I'm taking a look at everything now before I disassemble the pump and the screen here. Um, I see where the little piece goes. It looks like it's just a little clip that holds the screen onto the pump there itself, the, the dual tube, and of course your zip ties there. I'm still looking around to see what part this goes to. Let me to. go ahead and start disassembling this now. I'm going to start with the little zip tie. Don't cut the other hose, folks. That hose actually, uh, I think that's a return hose, because that's open. There's nothing uh, attached to that hose whatsoever, and that's why it opened. That's why I'm thinking that's like in a return hose or something. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to do this on camera the best I can. And then the next thing I want to do is try to pull that little piece off there. All right, folks. I just used a pair of pliers. Of course, you kind of damage it to get it off there. I think these, are, of course, are a one-time use item. So I think we are set to pull it off. This part should just slide off here now, I think. It looks like it just clips on there. Maybe I'll have to use a screwdriver or something to pry it. Yeah, looks like inside here you're going to have to push on this little piece a little bit to pull that off. But, yeah, there's little tabs in there. Let me play around with the tabs. 
I think with the screwdriver on this part here, I'll have to pop that up there. Sorry if I'm getting off camera with this and if it's hard to see. I am doing this in my shed since the weather's kind of crap today for working on the bike. And I don't have a garage. Looks like if you just pry that off there a little bit, those two pieces will come loose. You'll see what I'm talking about if you start doing this yourself. But I got to get the other side off now too, I believe. There we go. That popped right off. Just get a screwdriver back in this part here. All right, folks, when I was working on this, you actually do pull the whole pump off there. And I did find the other piece, little rubber piece that goes on the other end of the uh, fuel pump. So that'll just slide right off the end there. Now I got to try and pull this piece off somehow. I think once this is off, it should just come off. There's, you should still got to come over top of that little knob there. Probably easier if I unplug the... Uh, harness all right we got everything apart now finally i just had to play around with it a little bit get the clip to come out it just pushes down and slides out but i was trying to be very gentle with it so now it's just a matter of reassembling everything the exact way opposite way of where you uh took it apart so i'll go ahead we'll get that piece back on there like so and I know that's going to have to slide back into that part there. But we'll actually do this part first, I believe, because I think this is easier to get this piece back on there. Like I said, the exact opposite of the way I had it before. And of course, whoop, make sure you clean it up too. I got a little bit of debris on there. I don't want to put any dirty shit back in here afterwards. But that piece, you can't really put this back together the wrong way because it all goes together one direction if you paid attention like I said this piece should slide right back on that tab this part here should slide back on there all right I pushed everything back onto the pump the best I could try to push this in I just took a pair of gloves and kind of squeezed it didn't use too much force but it did take a little bit to get it slid on there I just had to make sure everything was lined back up in the holes I still got to get the little metal clip piece back in there. I don't think that should be too bad to slide that on there. Honestly, if it doesn't work, then honestly, I don't really think it's going to go anywhere, even if you don't get that on there. But they had it on there from the factory, so I'm going to do my best to get that piece on there. But we're going to put the pump back together with the base here. And of course, you want to slide that end piece back in there nice and tight. The best you can anyway you might have to wiggle it just a little bit get all the other stuff lined up too while you're doing it that pushed in a lot easier than the other part then the two side pieces should just snap right down in there there snap crackle now i just need to pop just pop there you go everything's back in there for that now this little piece just snaps in there Kind of holds everything together and that's where you're going to use your zip tie. The zip tie goes back through. You saw where I cut it, but there is a little slot underneath. I made sure the hoses and everything were pushed back down in there like that. That just kind of holds everything together. Everybody knows how to use a zip tie, I would hope. If you're doing a job like this, if you haven't run a zip tie before, this might be above what you need to do as a maintenance project on your Indian Scout. I did notice when I took it apart, this hose actually wasn't down in there all the way. So now it's back over the uh, filter. So I think everything should be filtered a lot better now. Good for another 40,000 miles. You are supposed to do 25,000, but ready to put the, all this back into the gas tank now. And meanwhile, while this was going on too, I made sure to try to drain as much as the old gas out of there as possible. That way I didn't have any debris or anything clogging up the new filter. All right, I'm gonna try and get this on camera the best I can. We're gonna work this thing back inside the tank. I did get all the gas out that good and then I took a rag and kind of wiped everything down. Now I gotta get this thing snuck back up in there. Apparently I still got gas inside here somehow. There's still gas coming out of the uh, pump that's all right it's on the inside past the filter so now we just kind of work our way in there it is kind of a pain you got to get the hoses and stuff down in there right, i was able to get it back in there camo was getting in the way of me doing it but kind of work the front end a little bit and then the back part in and you just line your holes up and of course you put your screws in i think there was 10 of them 
and of course all your hoses just reassemble it Folks, we're going to go ahead and get the tank back on now. Don't forget, you got to feed your line back through, too. We just got to take our time and get back through doing it again. folks we got the uh, make sure you plug in your line and your hose and everything everything's secure up front before I plug uh, put the bolts back in I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, gas tank vents these vents are kind of a pain they didn't really give you a lot of uh, hose to work with kind of wish I would have uh, switched them out they're a pain in the ass to reconnect the hoses especially since they didn't give you much but I like to do this before I secure the tank. All right, folks, before I put my seat and everything back on, I went ahead and checked for leaks underneath here. I put a couple gallons of gas in and stuff. Didn't see any leaks. I uh, just take, took my time doing that, but now we're gonna go ahead and fire it up and see how she sounds. Thanks for tuning into my channel. I hope this video helped you out. Bye for now.